Uh, just one for Michael, please. Uh, Chris from Talking Rugby Union. Um, you know, Samoa, in terms of test matches, Michael, haven't been able to play as much as you would have liked because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Just how big of an opportunity for you as players do you see this tournament to showcase what Samoa rugby is all about? Oh, it's massive. It's a massive opportunity. You know, we've got guys in the team that have been in the team from 20, 2016 that have only played 20 test matches. So that, that's a bit of an indication as to the games that we get per year and um, you know for us the, the longer we spend together the better the, the better we are and you know I'm sure it's going to be the same at this tournament you know the the more time we have together the the more cohesion we're able to build and and um, that chemistry as well so um, as well as playing against the tough opposition so we'll be a lot better for us. Hello, afternoon. Ishtid from Agence France Presse. A uh, question regarding uh, the two yellow cards. What did you make of them? And also, what are the injuries looking like? Thank you. Two yellow cards to us? Um, I haven't had an opportunity to review uh, review the game yet. So, um, at first glance, um, it, 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 it's always hard to... Um, to tell as, as, as it's happening live. I um, saw in a few replays, I thought um, uh, Eddie Inari's um, uh, yellow card was um, was uh, one of those heat of the moment things. So um, I, I, I don't really want to comment too much on it until I've actually had a good chance to, to sit down and, and, and review both, both cards. But um, I thought um, Paul, Kept things pretty consistent with both teams, which was really pleasing. Um, and you know, I think it'd be good lessons for um, for our team, especially um, as we go in further in this um, in this tournament around what the referees are looking at, what what they're talking about, and, and also how they're working with their with their ARs on the sidelines. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'll have a better idea in the next couple of days. Uh, injuries. Um, uh, Hooker said Al Lam took a bit of a knock, um, but, but, but he, he's okay. It's more precautionary um, taking him off. Um, um, it, there's a, a few um, sore bodies uh, in, in our side, um, and also a, a bit of cramp going on. Um, uh, it's been a while since we've we've had a three o'clock kickoff, <laughs> um, so it, it was a, it was a, it was pretty warm out there. Um, uh, but other than that, we we're, we're, uh, we're, we're pretty good on the injury front. Just waiting for the translation, then we have a question at the back and then here in the middle. <coughs> yes, at the back, please. Uh, um, question to the uh, coach. Um, you have uh, three players who have um, as experience, um, well, as a member of the uh, All Blacks and uh, Wallabies. How much do you think it's um, um, important for you to have these three guys maybe take the, this team to the next level during the, this World Cup? And another question is that uh, you obviously analyzed the Chile Japan game. Um, what do you think of the and uh, Japan this time around? Um, great question. Uh, the first, the first question. Um, those, those, those players that have have, have joined uh, Mount Samoa through uh, the eligibility amendment, um, I, I believe, has has strengthened our team because uh, as as a coach, I now have a a wider pool of players to, to, to select from, and um, you know, we have we have a, a 50 test all black that, that that's won a World Cup. Who knows uh, what it takes to win a World Cup uh, and compete? Uh, in, in our group, we have um, ex All Blacks, ex Wallabies, who, um, you know, who who are passionate about representing uh, their their families and, and, and their Samoan heritage. So. They only add to the quality of the group, and, and um, uh, they're also joining some some pretty pretty good players that, that, that we have in the squad as well. So it's it's a really it's a really nice mix, and um, and and you know, they they're just expanding the the breadth of our of our leadership as well, which is which is um, it, it's great for me as a coach. Um, in terms of your second question about Japan. Um, I think we'll look a bit more into that next week, um, as uh, we have a very um, uh, determined and, and, and wounded um, Argentinian team to, to face next week. So 
um, I, I thought uh, Japan were, were very clinical uh, against um, against Chile last week, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking forward to seeing their game against England. Just one for translation, and then. Thank you. Um, a question for the coach, um, Media Olympique, French newspaper. Uh, was, according to you, the turning point of this game or an action you're very proud of? It's amazing how I can understand French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think how, how we came out at half time was, was really. Um, was really pleasing for me. I thought uh, the, the attitude and, and, and focus of our players um, once we came out for the second half was um, was exactly where it needed to be. And, and, and I, was, I was really proud of the way um, the boys uh, stayed in the fight during the during the first during the first 40 minutes after um, uh, a spirited um, uh, chilly performance. We knew that they were going to be. Um, uh, full of energy and, and, and passion, so to see our our, our, our team come out after half time and, and 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 really execute the way we wanted to play and and be able to, to, to score score the tries we did that was that was really pleasing for me and, and, and a real uh, um, shift in momentum for for uh, for the game. We have time for one more question, if there is from the floor. Yes, last question, please. En français. Pour le capitaine. Pour le vous capitaine. avez été dominateur en mêlée fermée. C'était un secteur sur lequel vous vouliez euh, vraiment axer votre votre match. Dominating the scrum. Oh, coach touched on already around our set piece. That's something that we we pride ourselves on, and and obviously our scrums are a big part of that. And and having watched the the game against the Chile between Chile and Japan, we knew that Chile had a would have a strong scrum, and so we knew that we'd have our work cut out for us. But um, still, we still got work to do in that area. I feel like we can still uh, get to a place where we're truly dominant, but. Um, Pretty happy to get clean ball and and get a couple of penalties uh, in the first half. Uh, it didn't it actually didn't help that the surface was um, digging up like it did as well. Um, it was very hard to scrum on for both teams. So that's something to be mindful of for the teams that play on here moving forward. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That brings an end to the Samoa press conference. The mix zone will be open in about five minutes outside. Thank you, coach and captain. Thank you. Thank you.